If you plan to reuse your original gauge cluster with a 510-342 Ford Truck and Bronco Classic Update Kit, you'll want to retain your original printed circuit connector. This connector is not an item we can currently reproduce, so it will not be included with the harness. The new terminals provided by American AutoWire will simply snap into an original connector, but removing the original terminals is a little counterintuitive if you're used to some of the GM-style locking mechanisms. The stock Ford terminal has a square opening on the back that locks into the connector to prevent the terminal from pushing out as it's plugged in. To release the terminal, use a small flat bladed screwdriver or pick to pull down on the locking tab in the face of the connector and gently pull the wire towards the wire entry side of the connector to remove the terminal. Repeat this process for the remaining terminals until they have all been removed. Once the factory wires have been removed, crimp the new terminals onto the wiring provided with the instrument cluster connection kit in the classic update. These parts will be found in kit bag H. Insert the new terminals until they click and gently pull on the wire to make sure the terminal stays in place. The terminals supplied for the 73 and 74 trucks use a locking ramp design, but these will lock into place with the Ford style connector. We generally recommend leaving the gauge cluster wiring a little long for ease of serviceability down the road, or so you don't run short in case you decide to switch to aftermarket gauges in the future. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.